Hey, Shalom, I'm Akim Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh by Shimmy, Yahweh Shai by Shimmy Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole full light. Those in the gospel, brother, from the standard of Yahweh by Shimmy, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Hey, man, Babylon is closing down, shutting down. All right, this is an article which says, Real Pulse. It says real cost of inflation to average American household an extra $175 a month, okay, which indeed is, is, is true because, I mean, if you look at the cost of rent, okay, and the cost of goods, things are currently on an up and up, man. You know what I'm saying? Things are increasing. Things are increasing in value. And, hey, people are, are, are losing money out here, you see? Make sure this nigga turn. Okay. And, uh brother just sent a text message and an article said that the riot room is closing the riot room it's like a little club slash little lounge setting here in kansas city kind of what we prophesied at down the street where we prophesied at a little wicked ass spot that they hold a high esteem in babylon the great you know well in kansas city should i say but um basically it's closing down you know after 13 years of being open and that's relatively bad when you had a business for 13 years and it closed down, which shows you that there's no self-sustainability in these new current in these new businesses. You know, people are losing their jobs. And it was mainly a lot of nigger women that worked there. You know, it's all proud and so forth, and they're losing jobs now. Okay, so hey, we telling you that Babylon the Great is shutting down, and hey, they're trying to open up the door for the MOTB. You know what I'm saying? And um, why you got these guys out here? They're claiming to be Bible Christians and scholars, man. They're not really going into uh, the prophecy, so to speak. Like this guy, Vocab, he's not even prophesied, man. But yeah, he's popping shit about us. You know, you got all the time in the world to come against the men of the Lord. But yet, yeah, motherfucker, prophecies is coming to pass and you can't even break down one. Which shows you the type of mindset that these people come in. The type of spirit that these people are coming in, which is the spirit of evil and wickedness, man. Okay? So therefore, man, you people are getting ready to get caught off guard. What the hell that's getting ready to hit Babylon and great because it says here, over the past couple of months, it says Allison, a wife and a mother of Tyler, a teenager in Chicago. And we know Chicago is a very expensive uh, city to live in, man. Okay. And now we're out there, they're requiring basically uh, uh, proof of, you know what, in order to get in certain establishments, you know, which is soon to follow these big uh, provinces, so to speak, like California, New York, Chicago, you know, those big democratic cities, because Illinois is hands down nothing but Democrats, man, you know, but uh, it says here, it says she's been spending about $50 more each week on groceries to feed our family, and that's at a discounted supermarket chain, Aldi's, man, which Aldi's, honestly, Aldi's was never all that cheap in the first place, because believe it or not, you can find some good quality food at all these, like watermelon, for example. You know, watermelon, they have actually real watermelon with real seeds in it at all these, you know, at a wholesale store. But nonetheless, man, you know, relatively you're going for discount. You 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 people, man, you're you're losing. Okay? That's why when I sit up here and hear Jake talk all this shit about their future, like I was riding with this, you know, this old with this old school cat today, man. And uh you know, he's pretty cool. We, we got a lot of the same views, but he missed me when he said that black woman is God shit. He said, man, I done my research. He said, black woman is God. I said, you miss, you lost me there, bro. Black woman ain't God, man. Black woman was God. You, you wouldn't have to protect him, man, because he told me a story about how a nigga pulled a gun on him because uh, the dude that pulled the gun on him slapped his sister, and he was going down there to protect her, and dude pulled a gun on him. But I'm like, if a black woman is God, why you gotta protect her, man? She, uh, guys don't need protection, you know? At least guys that's empowered, they don't need protection. So that proves that the black woman is nowhere near fucking God. And that black woman is nothing more but a woman. That's all she is, is a female, okay? She's not God, It's not the divine about her, okay? She has no power, okay? The power of wickedness, but she has no power. She's not God, she's not to be exalted. And that's the problem with a lot of you niggas, man. You like to exalt these black women, okay? But anyway, back to the story. He made a comment on, man, how, you know, his future, his future, his future. In the back of my mind, I'm like, nigga, you contradicted yourself because you and I both know that America is pretty much out the door, man. Especially with all the shit that's going on in the world. 
America is finished. I ain't no coming back from this place. You know? And that's what Jake don't seem to get. Okay? But anyway, it says here. Uh, she says she used to spend $70 a week. Hold on. Let me lift this up. Slakia. She said, I used to spend $70 a week. But all of a sudden this summer, I noticed that I couldn't leave the store without at least 120 bucks. Right, man. Because, hey, everything is going up. The price of inflation. Things are going up because the dollars are being devalued, man. By the second. Okay. And that's going to be all in Babylon the Great. It ain't just America. That's going to be in all these different nations, these countries. Because their currency is being devalued due to America's negligence, man. Okay. But it says here, like millions of Americans... It says, whose income has not kept up with inflation, up 5.3% in August compared to a year ago. Now it's in our family are feeling the pinch of the rising cost of living and giving up on some things just to make ends meet. So that means that a lot of people are going to have to cut the costs, okay? A lot of gym memberships, a lot of uh, going out, a lot of out to eat, a lot of outings, etc. A lot of those things are going to have to be cut off in due time. Why? Because for the simple fact, people ain't got the income anymore. Okay, which shows you that Babylon the Great is on the verge of a total economic meltdown, man. Like I was cutting this bonehead Christian today, and I had to suffer his bullshit because I was on the clock. I didn't really want to get into a heated debate. But basically, man, the dude thought he was schooling me on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking about how Jesus this and Jesus that. He came for everybody. That's the only thing you stupid motherfucking Christians know. Jesus died for everybody, man. Get with the program. Okay, that's an old played out doctrine, man. And anybody can see through that shit. Here the world is ending and you niggas are talking about the Lord came and died for everybody and prosperity. Ain't no fucking prosperity here in Babylon and Great. Okay? The scriptures say peace and safety and sudden destruction. What the hell you niggas? And it's always you nigga Christians. At least the Edomite Christians have the audacity to actually open the book up and do some reading. Even though they're as wrong as three left shoes. At least they, you know, have the audacity to open up the damn book, man. You know what I'm saying? They try to do something. Unlike you, you niggas that sing and dance. You couldn't break down a prophecy from your ass in a hole, from you know, to know your ass from a hole in the wall. You couldn't do it, you know? So you niggas are done, man. Okay, you don't know nothing about the economic collapse. You don't know nothing about the, 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 uh, the, the this, uh, 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 what do you call it, inflation. You don't know nothing about the beast system. You don't know nothing about nothing, man. You just know how to regurgitate and run your damn mouth about a bunch of, about, about a, a, a Greek, Greek white sky god, man. Okay? Uh, Edomite. Oh, the Jesus was not black. You fuck what? Come on, man. All right. But anyway, it says our family is scrimping now. And this is the squeeze being put on you people. Okay? Hegelian dialectus. Pressure from above, pressure from beneath, man. They're putting the, the squeeze on you people. It says there are no more splurges like going to Home Depot to buy an extra plant or eating out. And that's the pride of you Babylonians being brought down, man. Okay, so call all your how about you, how shy, man. Your pride is being brought down because you people have lived high on a pickle for too damn long. Okay, and you've looked down on people of color. Okay, you, you've, you've, you've gotten rich on the back of Israelites. So it's about time for you to reap what you sow, man. Okay, and it says here. And it's reading on, it says, spurred by supplies, supply shortage and massive government spending, inflation has become an added tax on a middle class. Americans coming out of the, you know what, lockdowns, okay? But that's what it was designed to do. Do away with the middle class, so therefore you have the rich and poor. Like the scriptures say, he causes all both small and great, rich and poor to receive the, you know what, the MOTB. So you ain't gonna have no middle class. It's gonna be rich, which is the elites, and then you're gonna have the poor. Okay, ain't gonna be no middle class. The middle class is the lower class now. Okay, they done away with that during a 2008 crash and also during this whole uh, shutdown last year. Okay, so it says for households earning a mini annual income for about 70,000, okay, the current inflation rate has forced them to spend another $175 a month on food, fuel, housing, and according to Mark Zandi, the economics Moody Analytics, okay? And like I said, they going up on rent too, man. You know, they going up on rent. Like, they just went up on my rent by, uh, shit, man, 75, oh, about 110 bucks. They just went up on my rent, man. And they doing that because they're trying to get us to, they're trying to push us out. You know, we'll push out Jake because you got some people that live in my uh, development that don't even pay rent. 
You know what I'm saying? That just quiet as kept. A lot of them motherfuckers don't even pay rent over there. You know what I'm saying? But those apartments are easily marketable for 800 bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? But uh, a lot of people ain't paying rent, but they, 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 they're they raising rent to a Jake. And I know that because I was talking to uh, my neighbor, man, this bugged out nigga. And he was like, man, bro, you know, they going up on a nigga rent. He like, but I'm still behind, you know? I said, of course you behind because nigga, you Jake. You gonna be behind. That's why they went up on your rent so they can get rid of your black ass, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all it's about. They don't want you living over there. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, they got new owners. They came and renovated. They put like $3 million into the property. They gave you new appliances. So they want you out of there. You know, and like my landlord, when I was talking to her about a couple of months ago, she said straight forward, she said, yeah, they may go up on your rent every year. You know what I'm saying? To go with uh, 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 living costs. So when inflation increases, then you better believe your rent is going to increase too, man. Okay? But it says here, although... And it says, although government officials have called the, inf the inflation transitory, it's running a 30-year high and has been for months, okay? It says here, unpredictable supply chains, including a record number of more than 70 cargo ships waiting to dark at the port of Los Angeles, have made it difficult to predict when prices will stabilize, but they're not going to stabilize because that's the whole plan. They don't want it to stabilize, man. And this is a damn good article, man, you know? So I'm going to post it in a link description i'm not gonna be able to read all of it i'm on the road unfortunately but uh i'm gonna post this link in the description man maybe you brothers can actually get into it and maybe i can do a follow-up blessing if the if the spirit hits me to do so because i mean things are actually going up man you know show you that this place is shutting down so this is the book of uh ecclesiastes 12 and 1 and it reads here it says remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth okay it says when the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, you know? So, hey, you got to seek the Lord while you're young. You know what I'm saying? Because when you seek the Lord while you're young men, you know, the Lord have favor on you. And on top of that, you have that vigor and that tenacity of your spirit to continue to go forth and push for it. Okay? You can give it all you got versus you a man in middle age. You start to lose interest. You start to lose, you know, uh, uh, that, that fire, so to speak, unless you have a very special spirit on you. That's why the Lord says, seek me while I seek you while you can be found. But it says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Goes into your future. Optimist. Okay, like, you know, people talking about American dream. There's no such thing, bro. Okay, you can forget about that. There's no American dream. Okay, the American nightmare, you know, so and this proves it. And it says, and a door should be shut in the streets when the sound of the of the grinding is, is, is low. It says he should rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music should be brought low. Meaning your job situations, man, meaning things are going to come to a complete halt. Okay, things are going to shut down in its entirety. Things are going to continue to skyrocket and rise, man. Okay, and that's the type of uh, world we're living in, you know. Matter of fact, let me pull over, man. Let me pull over anyway. Let me just get to a spot and pull over because this is some good information. Alright. So this is the book of Revelation uh, 18. And I'm gonna start at verses 11. It says, And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth our merchandise anymore. Okay, meaning because America's gonna be destroyed. But even before then. You're going to have a shutdown of society, man. Okay? People ain't going to be able to afford to live or uh, pay their rents. People are going to start getting evicted. And all this shit is happening in a time when the eviction moratorium has pretty much expired. So your landlord, he can say, you know what? I'm evicting you. I don't care if you don't have the money. You got to get out of here. You know? And that's what it's looking like. So anyway, going back to the article. Where did I leave off at? And it reads here, it says to make matters worse, it says the trucker shortage has exacerbated the situation and shows no signs of abating, meaning it's not going to get better. It says, but everything from wood to electronics is becoming scarcer and more expensive, right? Because supply and demand at an all time high supply and demand. OK, when you always have limited supply and you have a high demand, the prices goes up. Why? Because, hey, shit, if you need it, you're going to buy it. 
That way you can make the other person rich. But it says many consumers experts do not see any immediate relief in sight with some bracing for surge in the credit and credit credit card debt. But during a pandemic, many consumers have paid down debt because they were spending less while collecting larger unemployment checks. OK, which, you know, people was getting up to eight hundred dollars a week, six hundred dollars a week. But it says Americans have seen everyday grocery items rise in a price over the last year. You know, but since April, credit card balances and delinquency rates have been ticking up after decelerating for the most of the pandemic amid Zandi. It says delinquencies are 1.54 percent as of September 21st with the 1.3 percent or 30 percent uh, in April. It says but prices increases will continue into the middle of next year, predicted Gordon Haskett. Analyst Chuck Grom pointed at Pepsi Co. Announcement this week consumers can expect another round of price hikes in early 2022. On the company snacks and beverages, man. So, hey, man. Yep. Shit is getting ready to go down. And this depicts it here. Folgers Coffee, 85 cents more. $8.80. Oh, yeah, man. This place is finished. Okay. So, anyway, let's get this in the book of Revelation, the sixth chapter. And it says here, Revelation 6. And uh, 6, it says, And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny. And three measures of barley for a penny and see that thou hurt not the oil and the wine which the oil and the wine re represents this truth okay because in the midst of all the chaos the truth is going to be scarce but only the election is going to have it but nonetheless you're going to still have all hell breaking loose okay because it says a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny okay because hey you know you're going to have inflation you're going to have hyperinflation and before you know it lamb dinner is going to be 300 400 bucks man a pop easily and this reminds me of the time of the of the siege in Samaria when uh basically they were selling doves dung for four shekels of silver, man, which is a lot of money for shit. Okay? So yeah, man. Hey, you how about you how Shai's getting ready to drop this place like a bad habit? So hey, all of you out there that's playing games with the word of the Lord, you Christians, man, hey, you can forget about it. And with that, all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you how Shai? And with that, shalom and a baba ball.